Hey, sorry everyone for the delay. I was running. <laughs> I was running to catch the the morning show. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Trader Oracle. Uh, no countdown for now. Uh, sorry again for being late, but haven't missed the show. So that's all that matters. How are you guys? What is happening? Um. Da, 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 all right. <clears throat> Let me update the chart because I didn't look at it. So, what is happening? Do we have any news this morning? Nothing so far, right? Unemployment claims afternoon. Let's check out the Asia highs and the lows. We have some buy side at 7.96. And, ta -ta 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 -ta. and, 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 and what do we have? We have a liquidity void. Maybe we see it. Oh yeah, there it is. We have a new day opening gap, both on the mini and on the micro too. So let's check it out. <clears throat> that could be interesting. <laughs> right here. Right here. New day opening gap. Perfect. I'm going to let this one go right there. Um, okay, and it's also on the mini. All right. New day opening gap, new day opening gap. I'm going to extend it right there. All right, so that's a possible target. Um, as for now, if I look at the 15 minute, what a move. Took liquidity up there. David, good morning. Welcome. Again, guys, sorry if I was late a few minutes. I do like to start the London session on time. But uh, I had to run around the house. Okay. So liquidity has been taken there. Sent it down. I still feel that this is a little bit bullish, like we are 49, should be going back to the 800 for some buy side on the one hour chart. Well, nothing special. <clears throat> you know, could be seeing a push higher and then maybe delivering the liquidity down there that would be interesting okay All right. So far pushing higher a little bit. Paul Hughes, good morning. Today is the day to get rich. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I wonder if we're going to push up there at least above the 67. Hey, Joey, good morning, guys. Good to see you guys. Again, sorry for the uh, being late. Try to be on schedule. I know it's crucial sometimes. So, um, I mean, not just sometimes, especially in this business. So, um, I do have more obligations during uh, the start at the New York session, so I try to be here on time for the New York session. 
as well. Okay, so nothing up there that is interests me so much. We do have that buy side liquidity level. That is interesting. That is something I like at 96. Yesterday was terrible. And I really, if I look at the five minute chart, <clears throat> I mean, look at this. Uh, well, on the 15 minute, this went into a liquidity zone. So there could have been a trade. I wasn't at my computer. But if I go down to the one minute, it was no entry. So it popped into the 15 minute fair value gap up there at the PM session. <clears throat> Dropped sharply. But there was like no trade to be taken here. Nothing. No trade. So that, was, oh, look at that. We're going. I like this move. I do like this um, fair value gap. I just don't know if we're going to go for that 96 area or not. Um, let's wait and see if this one is going to reprice the level. If I want to go there, I can put my stop at that area. Mm. Yeah, I could do that. There's still a gap. I might gonna enter with uh, with the market order. I don't know. Okay, it's it's uh, it's hard to say. Market order with micro. All right, I entered with two micros. Um, nothing special. I didn't expect this move, but if this one is a liquidity run, then I'd like to be a part of it. And it's only like, well, let's see. If I entered here, target is up there. Yeah, I could put my stop below that swing. I can put it right there. And what's the high here? I can exit at 94, maybe. Yeah, right there. How about that? As a continuation, I'm expecting this. <clears throat> so let's see where it goes. If it turns around, um, I like to see the new day opening gap down there if it turns around. And yesterday, uh, this account, uh, got up to, I made it up to 51,500 ish something. Oh, 520. There you go. So I made about, I don't know, a few hundred on by scalping, but I'm not sure I'm going to. This is a My Funded Futures uh, account. So. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Abu Hussein, how you doing? Doing okay, I'm doing okay. I hope you are well. I hope you too. <clears throat> Just trying to, you know, 
catch on with the trend here but if this one turns around I'm gonna be targeting the new day opening gap I just don't want to miss the move if some of these two moves would occur then I want to be on the train small position why not that's good Abu hope trading goes well for you and for everyone and I hope yesterday you guys made some good profits I really hope Webop is down there pretty much so uh, London Open is not yet uh, we're still ahead of London Open um, I want to go for that buy side at yesterday's um, London high London high which was this this was PM session high New York PM session high so that's what I'm going after if it turns around and takes me out we have another good target the new day opening gap at around 670 so um, I guess we just have to wait and see X futures why don't you trade in the evening there's always very good market uh, that's true Yosef um, but not always so now in the past in my view in the past two or three months at the first quarter of the year there were some good movements in the PM session but for example last year at the last three months the New York PM session many times as I was journaling I'm checking the sessions as well it was terrible it was absolutely dead and the other reason is um, um, you know I tried to catch a trade or two in the London session in the New York AM session but the goal for the year is not to sit in front of the computer from in my time from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. <laughs> the the goal would be to sit of course for the stream and I like to be here uh, I'm here and I will be here but I don't want to trade at 8 p.m. in my time or 9 p.m. or the market closes at 10 p.m. I don't want to I don't want to trade uh, 9 p.m. at my time I mean I like to relax you know regain some energy <laughs> do some other stuff the New York PM session in Hungary is at 9 p.m. of course I'm saying it's for everyone else and I just don't want to sit at my computer at 9 p.m. and trade all the time although I know I'm missing out some moves but made 2.5k shorting nice X futures Neo hello good morning evening market is so volatile in Europe. yeah it, it is I mean it's definitely nowadays uh, I can see that too the AM session is like dead meat Serdar good morning nothing is moving in the AM session in New York but and this is I think it's kind of a seasonal tendency and as far as I'm concerned I think uh, and as far as I I mean going over with that information that I collected uh, New York New York PM session New York or London oh you're asking New York or London uh, I would say um, New York afternoon moves well uh, yeah morning Oliver morning morning and let me put an applause for you guys being here welcome everyone so um, I forgot what I wanted to say oh yeah um, I'm journaling since uh, last year January but I do collect some information since the past three years or four years and wait until the summer kicks in so in July and August 
I think that the new RPM session is going to be super dead. That's what I think. Everybody wants to trade everything down in the New York AM session and in during the summertime, July and August, the New York PM session is just going to be super dead. That's what I observed. So correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm curious about your opinion, but it's going to change. It should be changing. AM sessions would be more volatile and the PM sessions are going to be done. Nothing. <clears throat> what do you think about auto trading using bots? I think it's a scam. I think it's worthless, useless. Abu, Abu Hussein, that's my honest opinion. I'm I'm talking from experience uh, and I'm talking, it's it's not impossible. You, you can have uh, bot, uh, bots or robots or algorithms that are helping you to enter precisely to a trade or to manage a trade. And for seasonal tendencies, there are algorithms or bots that could be executing if you if you know what the bigger trend is, of course. But overall, I do not believe that there is any sort of algorithm or robot or expert advisor, whatever you call it, on a retail level for us, like small dots in the desert, to be able to to constantly make profits i mean i've been there uh i th i don't believe in it i believe that there are algos that help you to execute precisely a trade but that's it uh, at the end it's the trader the human is going to be the one you are going to be the one deciding the faith of that trade and how it goes from there but uh, yes, there are algorithms and robots and whatever which are being used by hedge funds. I was reading about this, by the way, and I saw a video as well. So, for example, I don't know. Are you guys familiar with the television series uh, Billion Billions? Uh, it's over. The whole series is over now. It was seven seasons. Uh, billions. It's all about Wall Street and how they are trading, intraday trading, the stock market, blah, 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 and how billionaires are screwing each other all over, right? So I love that series, but it's not just about trading, but that's the thing. So um, in that series, there was, a, there was some good parts when they were talking about, like, imagine a hedge fund which is managing billions of dollars, and that's just a small hedge fund with a few billion dollars. It's just a very, very small hedge fund. And in that hedge fund, imagine that this is reality. There are like a few 18-year-old guys or gals sitting in front of supercomputers, and they are nerds in a positive way. So they are like super nerds. They watch uh, Captain America, Marvel movies, they uh, read comics and all the stuff, but they are super, super smart guys and gals. They are super nerds. And the big boss who is sitting at the, at the office, the CEO, tells them, all right, guys and gals, nerds, I want the algorithm to buy this segment of the market, this and this, blah, 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 way. And these nerds are sitting down 18-year-old guys who are making hundreds and thousands of dollars per month. They're sitting down at the computer and they're programming the algorithm that, okay, uh, this month or this week or today, we're going to sequentially buy this or sell this or whatever. And that's how hedge funds are actually operating. But at the end of the line, the big boys, the money maker, the big guys, the big players are saying the go like, okay, we're going to buy the whatever market, you know, this market, that market, we're going to short that market. And the algorithms are only executing orders on a tiny, tiny level. And, uh, and these 18 year old, sometimes even younger, uh, guys and girls who already have PhDs and everything, uh, they are actually programming these robots and algorithms. They are not sitting there pushing the buy button, buy now sell now no they're programming the algorithm and that's how the hedge fund is working they're playing super mario or whatever on their computer because it's already programmed 
and they're just watching how it's executing the trades but there is still no uh, robot or algorithm that can you know by itself can you know align to the current market all the time maybe the ai is going to change the space who knows but but this is how they work so on our level we small we are we're just nothing in the equation there is no no robot or algorithm on the retail level that is going to make you money in the long run all right i'm going to update with the text because i wasn't reading there are big moves that are going to find for every point retracing candles yeah joy trying at a risk way manageable and you can hold your trade yeah that's why i like uh, micro summer is the worst time to trade the yeah, polius it's always that summer Sounds about right. Summer goes more people. Yeah, on vacation. Exactly. 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 Now. Morning, morning, Oliver. Yeah, I watch it season. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. What's up? Hello, teacher FX. Always humans involved. Bots are scams. Well, bots are executing what the human tells them to do. As I said, that's what that's how hedge funds are operating. So don't get fooled by someone who is telling you you can buy algorithms and bots. Damien, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the channel. <laughs> so you can buy algorithms and bots to help you to manage trade or execute on certain seasonal tendencies. Uh, but do not rely on one single bot that you, know, you just sit back and everything is handled. It's going to make money for me all the way in my life because there's none even hedge funds with the super guys who are multiple engineer degrees whatever those 18 year old geeks and nerds they have to reprogram these algorithms all the time so um but that's how they operate that's how they operate <clears throat> how long have you been trading uh well um i'm trading uh, since last with futures last September. Before that, I was trading um, Forex. But when I transferred to or transitioned to futures, I got to take more payouts. Not too much, but at least I'm seeing more results. So uh, at Forex prop firms, I was having worse results than with futures. So I'm sticking with futures and with, with, with NASDAQ, with micro in this case retail level yeah retail level and of course retail everybody trades retail level yeah so i tr started trading forex seriously in 2021 uh i made my first profits from prop firms in 2023 and now here i am and before that it's a long story i told that many times <laughs> Damien, hello. <laughs> You're welcome, Abu Hussein. You can trade with EA like now we're decided to buy and close where you... Yeah, there you go. Where you have your target. Exactly, Donrick. So if you have a plan to trade for the day, you can use bots to help you to execute uh, a trade. Um, if it pulls back to a certain level or a certain pattern, pattern that the bot is going to execute and... You know that's very fast so it's it, it, your entries are going to be precise and therefore your profits should be way better if you're using bots to execute the trades but as i said at the end you are going to make the decision when to enter when to release the bot or when to close the trade you know it's all the same <clears throat> looking for shorts around your tp at nine yeah um we could be seeing i mean guys look at this we have a new day opening gap here uh after i mean right here oh you guys yeah you guys can see it we have a new day opening gap so if this one fails i'm looking for a structure break down to the downside so um it's low risk with these two uh, micros. So if, if this one fails, I'm just going to look for shorts. Good morning, Inky. 
How's everybody guys? Hey guys, can I ask you push the like button and subscribe to the channel? Pushing the like is free and helps out the stream and gives the YouTube algo the get go to expose us. <laughs> so thank you for that. Uh, seems like a little bit sloppy here so liquidity void there not there but on the micro there is this one could easily be dumping we have a shift here with this candle this is a market structure shift and eh, not so good not so good might have to consider to close this Good to see some live traders in Europe. Thank you. Well, um, I'm here every day. So, also in New York. Mitch, hey there. I'm in a short for it to create Asia high. Oh, yeah. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Yeah. Actually, it do seem like that this one could be a good short. We left a small liquidity void up here. So, I might have to close the trade. that one um, doesn't look good to be honest but what can I do getting short yeah well we're gonna wait for London open maybe after this anyway Man, look at this. This is your short, guys. If you guys want to go short, maybe wait for the liquidity void to be filled at 64. But this is your short. I'm actually tempted to jump in. Man, I'm so tempted to jump in. Should I change my bias for this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Field bird, hey there. Trend lines on the higher time frame are your best friend. Yeah, that's that's also very true. That's also true. All right, I'm gonna get some more drinks, and uh, I'll be right back in two minutes. We're waiting for the London Open, guys. Don't go anywhere. Push the like. I'll be right back.
Good morning, guys. Let's look at it. What the Forex hey there took a short at six uh, or seven hundred sixty-four. 69 you guys are short nice look at that look at this beautiful reaction on this by the way but it was a nice short from you guys marco good morning good morning <clears throat> emh good morning good to see you waiting for the open Got in the short, hope it works out, so I'm done for the day, yeah. Have to get on the road, okay, well, travel safe. No. What a reaction, I think I'm offside. Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunately. So the new day opening gap could be in play down there. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, I really thought that we're gonna go for that buy side. Well, time to short. <laughs> yeah, I just don't like to short. I mean, these kind of sloppy tops. Um, that was a little bit against my style, but it does seem like that this fair value gap here. It's pretty much a good one to go short. Looks fine on the 5 and the 15 minute, yeah. The 5 and the 15 minute definitely looks bullish for now. So I do like it still. Um, yeah. I still like it on the, on the 5 and the 15, that's true. If this trades above 65, 64, 75 again, then it could be continuing momentum above the 70s where is your break of structure um, the break of structure let me delete that the break of structure is here I think you can see it as well right there Market structure shift bearish. That's it. That's the market structure shift right there. If you want to go short. My trade is, I mean, my bias is still going up there. Of course, I could be offside, but if you guys wanted to go short, that's why I told you. If it retraces back up there, taking that, repricing that liquidity void or rebalancing it could be going down. If, if the market really wants those new day opening gaps to be filled down there. Uh, yeah, it looks bearish for sure. It looks bearish on the one minute. If I go to the five minute, Look at this. On the five minute, I mean, it can still go below, I mean, into around 50. On the five minute, it looks bullish. On the 15 minute, it also looks bullish. On the one hour, I don't know, maybe. Sharp retracement up there. Is it going to reach that level? I'm not sure. For now, the only thing I see is that it's bearish on the one minute. Out one contract, have one to run at break even. Nice. <laughs> let's wait until we wait guys subscribe to the channel and push the like button thank you guys morning what the forex 
<sighs> more liquidity and some news coming at I don't know, so called still could push up to your level, but I took a very tight stop uh, short at 64. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we just have to wait for the open. Yeah, what the news? Let, let's see. Um, we are going to have current account in Euro, but otherwise, nothing special. The only major news is 8.30 unemployment claims. <sighs> and by the way, guys... Officially, I'm going to put it to the vlog. A vlog is coming, by the way, weekly vlog. I started to be on a diet. So, uh, le yesterday was the temporarily last day when I was eating carbs and sugars. I mean, uh, as of today, this is the first day that I'm not going to eat carbohydrates or sugar. Uh, and I'm gonna be strictly on a diet. I have to lose at least minimum, the bare minimum is 10 kilograms, but the goal is to lose 15 kilograms. Uh, I'm overweight, so I need to lose at least, at least 10 kilos. So today is my first day, it's gonna be super hard. hard. <laughs> I'm already super hungry if I think about it, but uh, I have to do this because I'm extremely overweight. So, ac according to my height, my age, and everything. So, <sighs> hey Nez, how's it going? Consistent tone, let's go. Patience, yeah. Sage or tie. We're gonna lose weight. <laughs> I'm gonna lose weight. <laughs> you should try alternative fasting. Start slowly and you will lose. Uh, I'm 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 starting slowly. I mean, I'm not doing any extreme stuff. I'm just not going to eat carbohydrate uh, food. So no bread. Basically, maybe a small, um, what's it called? Toast for the morning. Toast bread. What's it called in English? Toast bread, of course. So one small toast bread for the morning and then the rest of the day is just gonna be so nothing special more vegetables more fruits I think it's gonna be very exhausting hi George if you don't mind how old are you uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be turning 40 next month in next month in May I'm gonna be 40 years old. I'm. Um, it is what it is. Called white toast. Yeah. So I'm 39. Uh, my birthday is on the 20th of May. So in one month, I'm gonna be turning 40 years old. So I might. I should be doing a a, a drunk stream or something, right? <laughs> um. You are still young. Well, yeah. So, but I, I, I was always fighting uh, with overweight. Um, just a second, quick, quick phone call. But I always, I was always fighting with overweight because I like to eat sweets, chocolate, sugar. That's that's my weak point. 15 kilograms. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to happen in a week. It's going to take until at least the end of the year if I take it slowly. But the bare minimum I have to lose is 10 kilograms. That's the minimum I have to go down. So, go for a low-carb diet. Eat more protein so it will fill you. Yeah, that's a good idea. 40 is a good time to settle down, have some kids with 
the wifey, yeah. Or maybe, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that, but yeah, I'm going to say it. Nobody sees this stream anyway, so maybe I should get a few mistresses, you know. <laughs> no. No, um, currently this account is a My Fund is Futures evaluation account um, through Trade Await. And this is just an evaluation account. It's still not the funded account. Um, I'm Yesterday I was up like 500. I don't even know how much I was up. Let me check it. How much I was up yesterday. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Come on. So yesterday I made yesterday I made uh, six hundred forty nine on this uh, account, and I'm in profit. Uh, so I started the day. 1522 and as you see it here 1005 I don't know why it says 1520 but anyway uh, maybe I had a loss maybe I closed a small loss earlier oh yeah I think I did but this is the account Uh, but Apex is, I do have Apex accounts too, uh, tech hooked. So Apex, they're still having the lifetime 80% sale, so check them out. Uh, get married for start having kids, still reach the F40. I do 72 hour water fast, 72 hour, wow. Feels amazing, nice. That is really something. Jobless claims expect no miracles. Yeah, this session. I don't think it holds any special Maybe they want to send it down to the new new day opening gap in the New York session. We don't know that so Until then maybe that just a theory it can be sent higher to sweep some more liquidity who knows Who knows <laughs> yeah Marco young beauties can help with weight loss <laughs> actually they can that's a fact so <laughs> uh, yeah yeah that might be because of the contract um, commission yeah exactly <clears throat> One quick question on trading view we should look for NDQ 100 chart for a script or um, you have to look for if you're trading with micro MNQ like it says here MNQ or if you're trading on the mini you should be looking for NQ uh, what you're saying there NDQ maybe that's that I mean we have NAS 100, which is looks like the same, but it's a CFD. It's not futures. But on TradingView, I mean, you might have to subscribe to the data. Um, so we were talking about this. Let me... Uh, so futures, you have to look for NQ and... The latest contract is NQM 2024. Or if you just go with um, NQ exclamation mark one, it will automatically fill you into the latest contract. That, that That's it. But you have to apply for the CME data. Or if you have uh, a trade, trade away, sorry, yeah, trade away subscription with any of these prop firms, then you will get the data. But we were talking about this yesterday. There's still going to be a three second delay if you don't subscribe to uh, TradingView Essential Package. There's going to be a three seconds delay. 
um, diet like trading, eating like only during 12 hours. To, yeah, I would die if I do 72. Yeah, I mean, that's super hard. At times, can you trade? Uh, you can trade futures pretty much all day. There is a small two hours gap um, for the electronic trading hours here. Eastern Standard Time uh, from 5 uh, p.m. until sorry one hour from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. there is a small gap so when there is no electronic trading but you can pretty much if you have your own account you can trade pretty much all day all day so 23 hours sorry uh, at prop firms they are forcing you to close the trades a little bit earlier some prop firms wants you to close the, the positions at 4 p.m. or 4:10, and you can reopen them in two hours yeah uh, get more girlfriends yeah <laughs> the Frankie futures I'm not 40 but I will not have one wife <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I'm showing you which chart. Sh which chart should you follow? Well, depends on which chart you're trading. I mean, which market are you trading? If you're trading a CFD uh, at a forex prop firm, for example, or a forex uh, brokerage, um, if you want to follow Nasdaq, you should be looking for US 100 or Nas 100, something like that. The prices are different, but the chart is the same. Depends on what market you trade. What's up, hello, teacher FX? I plan to have three hot, young, healthy, positive Filipino wives. <laughs> nice. Did my broke. Stocking consolidation. Yeah, it's below Nox. Yeah, it's still valid, but keep in mind, Ruse, it's only for the first month. So, Apex Trader, if you need more time to pass it more than 30 days, uh, maybe Apex is better for you, but Bulanox only gives you the discount for the first month. But, but definitely the cheapest accounts, the, the cheapest, cheapest upfront cost is with Bulanox. Uh, you can have, for example, a 50k account for $17.50, but only for the first month. And Apex is going to give you the lifetime discount as long as you need the evaluation account. Even if you blow the account, don't cancel it just let it rebuild and it's going to reset it with the discount price just saying that's uh that's what i used to do i still do it i still have blown accounts with apex but i'm gonna keep it keep the subscription in case next month uh, there would not be a sale like this and i'm gonna get rebuilt uh with the same discount price all day 23 hours a day low volume not a problem bro on the five second time frame you definitely will find some good opportunities infinite I'm out of short we'll wait for London yeah I'm stuck in this so if it takes me out let it be but uh, if we break lower um, and if I see the run down to the new day opening gap I might jump into a short <clears throat> this is just a small trade nothing serious <laughs> Yeah, sure, they, uh, Damien. So the quick explanation is that yesterday uh, it created a nice, beautiful high in this 15-minute fair value gap in the PM session, New York. And so we do have a new day opening gap down there, but I was only thinking that the narrative could be in London to push it higher sweep some liquidity and then go lower so i went down to the one minute and after the kill zone started we saw this sharp push you see for after 2 a.m uh we saw this sharp push up there created a fair value gap i entered here and since then it's consolidating but i still think that we can go for that pm session high sweep the liquidity and maybe later in the new york session send it down to the new day opening gap the risk to reward is still okay so that was my entry for this trade or my analysis of course 
if it breaks lower than my stop I'm going to be looking for the new day opening gap uh, to jump in if we see a nice opportunity otherwise that's only it uh, Bilonox activation fee is a different thing let me show you um, Uh, Bulanox activation fees are a little bit interesting. Here you go. So, the 50k account activation fee is $148. The 100k activation fee is $248, which is still somewhere around the apex price. But if you go above 150k, I mean, if you go with the 150, this is insane. $500 to activate the 150k account. This is mental. I think this this is too high. Look at the 250k account is $900 to activate. So if you buy Bulanox, I would strongly advise not to take bigger account than the 100k. Uh, because the activation fees for 150 and 250 is insane. Absolutely insane activation fees. What I would do... Um, if you want to go with Bilonox, I do have funded accounts with Bilonox. Um, I would buy, for example, multiple 50k accounts. And you can copy trade them or trade them separately. And as you pass them, you know, you don't have to risk everything on one account. You can trade them separately. Anyway, I'm not going into that. Just don't go with the 150 and the 250 because it's very expensive. All right. Um, uh, that's the main thing. Da, 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 da. So, are we limited on how many, uh, trades can? No, 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 no limits. You can trade as many, you can take as many trades you want. You're not limited. <clears throat> no limits. Um, I mean, the only limit is how many contracts you can put on at a time that's the that's the only limit but you can enter and exit as many trades as you want i mean i'm guessing you don't want to take like hundreds of trades per day but uh, 15 minute bearish uh, yeah it's, it's it's looking interesting that's for sure let's wait this out the market is about to open right now London is just open for business. Let's see what they want to do. <laughs> uh, Naz is just trolling here. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, no problem. How many accounts can you have at Bilonox? Uh, you can have three funded accounts. Uh, as, as much as I may be more, last time I checked, you can have up to three master accounts, which are the funded accounts and unlimited evaluation accounts. Three funded accounts, maybe five. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe five master accounts. Uh... multiple accounts oh there you go there you go trader could have up to 11 master accounts 11 sorry 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 uh so george 11 master accounts there you go that's the answer uh up to 11 yeah as sorry i with so many different rules with different platforms sorry i wasn't sure 11 11 I'm in a trade uh, in a very, very small position, two micros targeting uh, buy side, which is uh, New York PM session high. Um, if it would go there, entered on the small fair value gap on the one minute after the 2 a.m. push. And now we're just waiting. If it fails, we have a new day opening gap down below the 700s. It's at 670-ish area. 
You're welcome, George. Do you know if it's possible to copy trade several accounts at the same time? Of course it's possible. Yes. It's possible. If you use Quant Tower or Ninja Trader, it's very easy. Uh, you can also copy trade between multiple prop firms if you want to. So yes, it's possible. But Quant Tower ha has this feature as, as a subscription, so I have to pay for it $25 per month to have the multiple connection feature. Uh, but the trade copier is built in Quant Tower, so it's a built in thing. In Ninja Trader, you have to install Replicanto to Ninja Trader. And that is like for one computer, it's $160. And for multiple prop firms, you have to buy extra license. I don't know. It's more expensive, I know, at the, the upfront fee. I would go with Quant Tower. I'm trolling. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, Nez, I know. You know I love you, Nez. You know. <laughs> All right. Um... Five minute time frame, so yeah, 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 yeah. No problem, David. So if you guys want to copy trade, you have to go with, uh, I mean, I would go with Ninja Trader, but no, not <laughs> with Quant Tower, but Ninja Trader is good too. I think Quant Tower so far is the best for these kind of things. Mm, and the reason you might be asking why are you trading on trading view i don't know i had this account partially by accident by not clicking which platform i want to use and i purchased uh the account through trade await and now i'm using this <laughs> so um at my funded futures at least it's good for the stream one ninja trader needs to come up with their platform. Yeah, ninja trader need to need to upgrade to Mac because um, yeah, it's a little bit older platform ninja trader, but that's why I would go with Quant Tower. So guys, um, what is happening? <laughs> what I would like to do here, real quick like real real quick until we're waiting for the move ta, 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 ta. Uh, I'm gonna be inserting an ad if you see an ad popping up you can support the stream by just watching the ad by night not clicking through it or you can click on it the ads are keeping the revenue going a little bit higher so ad is coming in three two one all right, so a little bit of ad. Does Bilonox contain trade await? I usually trade in trading view. That's why I ask. Uh, no, there is no uh, trade await with Bilonox, only rhythmic connection. So Ninja Trader and Quant Tower. Yeah, we are stuck. I didn't even have the patience to wait for the setup to properly form a 560 second time frame like a total bomb as the market is just transferring. Yeah, the market is all over right now. Feels like it's losing grip on this area, so might be dumping. Uh, yeah, that was I was afraid. So, George, uh, there is no George, sorry, there is no uh, trade await at Bilonox. Only rhythmic, which is good for a quant tower and ninja trader. Guys, I saw yesterday. Yeah, no problem. I saw yesterday the uh, the new Dune movie, the part two. Man, that that's that's an awesome movie. I love that. I was almost crying at the end. It was so beautiful, the whole movie. Bittersweet end. 
to the movie. I, I do like it. I think it's great. I, I think it's literally, it saved uh, the sci-fi. Sci-fi, is that the, the way to pronounce it? The sci-fi movies that they were making in the past two or three years. I did think this one is a masterpiece. Just like the first one. So it's already announced that they're making the third one, the final. But hey, this one was, I think it was a true masterpiece. I loved it. Oh man, I think we're done with this trade. So I'm, I'm deleting my take profit. Pretty much going down to the dumpster. Uh, there is a market structure shift. I think it's going to go down. Mm -mm -mm. It has to take out that low, so I'm closing the trade. Closed it. Closed it manually. I don't like it. Saved a few bucks. How much? I lost $53, so that was not a big deal. Uh, of course, it could be bouncing off from the 200, but... Should have taken this short. Shoulda, but I coulda. Man, why I don't... I don't know. Frustrating. Look at this. This would have been a beautiful trade here. This would have been the trade. Can you imagine that Dune was written? Yeah, I, I was reading the book when I was a kid. Uh, one of my favorite books. When I was a kid, I loved that book. I still love it. So that's why... For me, I'm I'm a little bit biased to the movie, but uh, yeah, I I read the book like three times when I was a kid, and all the I mean, not all the books, the first three parts. I was I part, Dune Part One, Part Two, The Children of Dune. Um. Anyway, it was great. Breakout possible. Short entry? Possible. Uh, might try to enter to a short to micros at that level. Let's see. Oh man, I do feel a FOMO again. Because I missed this move up there. If it continues to go down, uh, should be going for these lows at least at 711, maybe even lower. Um, five minutes looks good too, but David, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the channel. All right. Second chance to enter the trade or enter this move is this. If it goes higher, then I messed up. <laughs> I messed up big time. All right, let's wait. We're filled.
We are filled. <sighs> hey, Gaurav. Tom, this is a bad idea. I think so, too. <laughs> I like to take bad... No, I don't like to take bad ideas. Gaurav, good to see you. Have you seen the movie Taxi Driver? Oh, yeah. I saw that. Big classic. Big, big classic movie. Mm -hmm. I'm in a short I'm in a short on this gap uh, since we broke lower but it's bouncing up the 200 so I could be wrong here I'm not tilted I just took a, a, a long entry that took me out and uh, I told you guys that if it starts to break lower I'm going to be targeting the new day opening gap so that's what happened I'm following the plan so I'm just following if it takes me out here I still have one more chance because I only entered with two micros and I lost fifty three dollars on the previous trade so if I lose this one I can still take one more trade to the upside. I'm definitely on plan right now. <laughs> so no tilt, no tilt. <sighs> Again, I told you guys, if it breaks lower and here it broke, uh, I'm jumping in. Target the shorts. Yeah, that's it. Yes has equal highs. Yeah. Oh man. Yes, looking bullish. Oh man, this is looking bullish. Uh, don't like that. But we have liquidity void down there. Oh, that's good. I like this. Look at this. I like that. I like because Es also had a new day opening gap down there. So let's check this out. It still has a new day opening gap. right down there and ES also has a gap here on the mini I do like that too look at that there you go I like it like that <laughs> So, as long as ES wants to reprice this and lower, NQ could go. But ah, uh, yeah, I'm in this short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm in from seventeen thousand seven hundred forty-nine. I'm in this one. I'm happy. You know, 10 points is still good. I think, by the way, if you go with so far on the average uh, contract size, let it be one mini, two micros, five micros, whatever your risk tolerance is. If you can make on average 100 points, for example, on NASDAQ per week, um, you should be okay. You should be doing fine. You can make money, good money in the long term. I see that you are still. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacques, welcome to the stream, by the way. Good to see you. 
Guys, if I can ask you a favor to push a like button for me, thank you so much. Helps out the YouTube channel and the stream. Push those likes. Oh, wow. It was like one. How much? How much? How? There is a. You guys see this? It was like how much time ago? I got the first super chat on live stream. Anyway. <clears throat> how many monitors? I have two monitors. I had three. But I'm now only using two monitors. I had the third one absolutely to my left, right next to the window. Uh, but now I have two. So, um, yeah. I'm thinking maybe later, not now, but maybe during the summer, I'm going to buy... Thank you so much, Pity Pro. I thought that this is just, I thought that this alert is like, I don't know. Anyway, I got confused. I, I didn't really know I got the, um, the tip here. Uh, um, but again, thank you so much for for the tip. From Rome, Italy, my second morning. Thank you so much. What time is the morning? Uh, um, I start at 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern. I'm sorry, 8 a.m. in my time, which is 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I start streaming every morning to the London session, 8 a.m. in my time here in Hungary. I guess it's the same in Rome, right? What time is there? I think it's the same. Yeah, the same. Not, so, 8 a.m. That's when I start. Oh, man. Look at this dirty move. No. This is resistance time. I'm off for now. Yeah, see you later, Jack. Thank you for uh, joining the stream. <clears throat> Diddy Pro, thank you so much again for the tip. First, I, I didn't know what is happening because the alert didn't trigger and I just saw that. What? <laughs> thank you again. <clears throat> Can you share how you get in and out of trade? Oh, sorry, David. Yeah. Um, how to get in? When well, uh, my entry model is very, very simple in this particular trade. I'm looking for areas of liquidity. For example, I was talking about this. If this long fails to go for the new York PM session high yesterday, and if it breaks lower, I'm going to jump into a short uh, to maybe try to take out the Asia lows or the new day opening gap. So what happened here? is on the one minute it broke lower made the market structure shift uh here it's not a perfect one right there so made the market structure shift there created a fair value gap here and so i thought i'm just going to be targeting lower levels using risk reward one to two which is something like this so my risk to reward ratio is around one to two and that's why i entered on the short if it takes me out again in this one um well that's gonna make a difficult situation for me if i want to enter another trade um but yeah 
if it closes with a displacement higher that's going to put me into a difficult position because that's going to create a bullish breaker it just took this uh gap right down there and i don't really like it um didn't break the order block this is a one minute order block but didn't break it it reacted quite nicely that's the problem and if it displaces higher we have a higher chance again to go for that pm session it's it's really hard to trade right now i can tell you that but this move i missed i i was talking about this that you guys can enter on this short and i was already in the long and i missed this move this could have been a very very nice short with the one to two and i missed it thank you might be going for inverse head and shoulders on one minute <laughs> Tref, good morning. Jó reggelt kívánok. <laughs> Jó reggelt kívánok. Good morning. <clears throat> How are you doing? Good to see you. Mm -hmm. So by the way, somebody was asking uh, yesterday what's happening with Top Step right now. Top Step is, by the way, doing great. Hopefully they will figure out the micro mini uh, trading opportunity or conversion. Otherwise, everything is great. So, well, so far I had a small loss. And seems like my second loss is on the way. We had a, we had a nice entry that it started to drop, but now it's just picking up some uh, buyers again to the buy side. Oh man, this is a tricky one, absolutely tricky one. Looking a little bit aggressive, bullish here. This order block held so far so yeah dang it look at that if it closes above 53 mm, then I'm in trouble so top step can give you an additional 20% if you click on my link and register for a new account and until you pass the account you get the lifetime additional 20 percent <laughs> nez just donated two dollars thank you so much tom you fool <laughs> you should trade the s oh. <laughs> i should right <laughs> sm oh. diversions right <laughs> you know what uh, I take that seriously, really, <laughs> right now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you re-entered along. Yeah, I think I'm going to delete this. I think this trade is off. Naz, thank you again. The alert is a little bit in a delay, but it should be coming off from Streamlabs. Uh, Naz, thank you so much for the donation. No, it's going to... I don't know what's happening. Streamlabs is slow. It's it's going to be coming. The reaction is a little bit slow. It should be coming in uh, in a few s more seconds. I'm not... It should be coming up. <laughs> I don't know. It Sometimes Streamlabs is slow. I don't know. But it should be triggering. <laughs> Thank you so much, Naz. <laughs> uh, what time in the morning do you begin trading? 
Uh, I start at 8 a.m. 8. So that's your time too in Rome. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is when I start. Um, and I also start in your time or in my time zone. <laughs> it was a good one, right? Um, I start the New York session sometime around uh, 2.15, 2.30, which is at 8.15, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. So today I'm going to be coming back for the New York session too. And if you're new to the stream, um, maybe you haven't heard. I mean, I got funded last year with Futures with Top Step. And there's a video if you check on my earlier videos from January. I took out not too much, like $4,200 uh, payout from funded accounts this year. I only took one payout from Top Step. I just got funded with Bulonox and Apex. So I'm still on the way to build up uh, the accounts. It's a long road. So uh, that's it. But being here on YouTube streaming and everything, you know, it, it helps out uh, to be here full time. But the goal is to take, of course, the payouts. In 60 days, so sometime around mid-June, I'd like to take out at least one or two payouts from these funded accounts. And that is going to be journaled on the recaps. Recap videos are coming back. As stated, NASDAQ is bullish. You should be looking for buy opportunities only. That bullish order block was obviously a buy. Yeah, it does look like it. So... I don't know. Don't know what to do. Just in case it would drop. Oh man, this is so frustrating. Make sure that song is not copyright. Yeah, I made it sure. Uh, I checked it already. Um, I bought that song with a theme, but I still have um, the info from that. And it's copyright free. It's a copyright free uh, thing. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Perfect timing for shorting CL. 220, what is happening on CL? <gasps> Look at this, what the heck? Oh my God. I'm not trading CL, but congratulations for catching that. Nice move. Only you know what to do. Everyone else is just another clown on the on the bus <laughs> well uh of course i'm sticking with the trade but if it takes me out it takes me out but good morning fxmo the thing is that um you know streaming my trades i told this many times as well that streaming my trades does put an extra pressure on me because I know everybody has different opinions of the market and that's normal and that's the beauty of the whole thing that everybody has different bias and uh, there's always going to be contradicting opinions against each other like someone says it will go up the other says it will go down and I, I know everybody has the truth in that analysis but um, it does put an extra pressure. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Especially if I trade the funded, 
uh, that does put an extra pressure but I can deal with it um, much better than I did a year ago so last year early in the year when I started streams I was handling it much worse when everybody was having their own opinion and saying it will go up it will go down do this do that and I was like so confused with Forex and I realized I just I mean not the bad way I don't care but I listen to everybody's opinion but uh, I'm just gonna stick with the analysis basically that's the short answer just stick with my analysis and that's it but yeah goat <laughs> yeah I'm not a goat <laughs> I wish I'm in the short at 750 well what is ES doing I want to see ES go down to 74 this may bounce up to your stop this may hit your target <laughs> that's the best advice anyone can give uh, anything can happen that's the beauty of the market and ag again I that's why I do love the markets because hold on a second all right Tom does your girlfriend work yes she is she is uh, she's a teacher how do they say it in uh, English um, she's teaching uh, eight seven eight nine year olds uh, elementary school is that it elementary from first grade to fourth grade so she's teaching first graders to fourth graders in elementary school yeah she's a teacher morning hello a morning 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 Europe so is the target uh, 724 and you won't take profit sorry for all no absolutely David I like the questions uh, I'm not taking profit my trading model or risk management model which is different for everyone is to go with one to two risk to reward ratio which in this case is about at 24 75 you know what I'm actually gonna modify it to 25 there so I try to aim for one to two risk to reward even if I lose the trade I did my back testing and and I collected information and everything and uh, I know many of you guys taking partials in the past couple of months uh, I didn't take partials and I got some payouts and I stick to the trade I just let go of the trade and uh, if it takes me out at least I know that I was offside my analysis was wrong but if it takes me to profit then I will know that my analysis was correct and it feels much better than to walk away for me with a break even so I would take a full stop instead of a break even but if I take a break even and then it goes to my original target the first the frustration I would have after that would be much worse to handle for me but that is only my mindset so everybody is different but basically a one to two standard deviation that's what I go with <clears throat> 
Elementary, there you go. Uh, 755 is the idiot box. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no problem, David. So this is just risk management uh, rule on my end. You don't have to do the same. You can take partials, move the break even whenever you are comfortable. For example, here, if I would move to break even, I'm sorry, yeah, I would have been taken out from the trade, right? Of course, it's not over yet. But if this trade would go to take profit, I would be biting my ears off to see this go to my take profit and I got out at break even. So I don't want to deal with frustration. And so I decided I'm going to take the full stop if I have to. That's how I do it. I can manage the full stop loss mentally much better than a break even. So, I mean, a break even is, is not a bad thing. I'm not saying, but again, I can handle three stop losses more than one break even trade, which is finishing up in the original take profit area because it, it, it messing up my mind totally. I want to know if I was correct or not. That's what I'm looking for. If I fail with this one, with a stop loss, at least I know I was not correct on this trade. And I deal with that super easy. Which, uh, and it also leads you sometimes to hold the trade for three, four, five hours. This year record was al almost six hours. I was holding a trade for almost six hours. From London session all the way to New York session. It was crazy. I was not sitting and watching. I left the computer <laughs> and go went on with my day. But it was in the trade for six hours. Especially with NQ that will come back very often. Yes, NQ is definitely like to go back, test your entry and continue. So. If you're married, just remember it, you never correct. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Tom, you're the one person I know that have the same mental look about the losses and break-even stuff just like me. A break-even freaks me out, to be honest. Yeah, there you go, Damien. Uh, actually, the idea uh, to go with this method came from Mark Douglas. Uh, he was not just writing about it in his books, but he was talking about it in his YouTube. I mean, his in his workshops, which has been uploaded to YouTube. I don't know which workshop that is yet because there's a few uploaded but but he was talking about it and and he was talking about the mental aspect of you actually messing the trade up by moving your stop here and there the second when you start to move your stop just with one point one single point or a tick you're moving your target your your even your target not just your stop you start to mess your trade it starts to put a bug in your mind and your subconscious is start to create doubts in yourself like oh should i should i put my stop here should maybe i did this wrong maybe i should put my stop back there maybe it would be a break even maybe not who knows no it's it you can put this to a short circuit enter the trade determine your stop loss and your take profit and let it go that's it you accept it whatever is going to happen and you're going to the market is going to give you the answer were you correct or were you wrong and it's easier to journal you're not going to have so many second doubts by your for yourself that oh my god maybe i should have done this should have done now it's very simple you have your trade and that's it no much less second doubts for yourself much less confusion and yes, you're going to take more losses. Yes, yes, you're gonna, going to take more losing trades. But as a, again, I would take... That's why I go with the 1 to 2 risk to reward. 
I would take a stop loss anytime than a break even. Anytime a stop loss better. <clears throat> DK England, I admire your patience. Well, I'm not a patient person, trust me on that. <laughs> I'm not a patient person. I know it sounds weird, but maybe here on the stream in trading I am, but in real well I don't know. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> uh but thank you dk england and thank you for joining the stream by the way guys if you can push the like button for me let's push the stream to the moon and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already there is going to be some giveaways just stay tuned and um what else oh yeah if you would like to support my journey being here full time actually and i'm going to say it as short as i can Without the affiliate commissions I got from last month, I would not be able to be here full, full time. There you go. So thank you for supporting. If you click on my links and purchase accounts, uh, that is helping me out until I get to the payout level with these uh, prop firms. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. And you left me with some serious PTSD back in March trying to scale up the different Seconds time frames on the <laughs> trading view. <laughs> Total emotional damage. Come on, Naz. You're better. I know you're I know you're better. Good thing I have all this dank weed. <laughs> uh of course I, I trade the five minute. I trade the five minute. I do look for entries on the five minute. Um But you know in London session we have more entries possible entries on the one minute but i do look the five minute too anubis trades thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and welcome amongst our members i mean subscribers we do have a member member area too but uh oh look at that es retracing back to that gap i thought that we're gonna go down and uh, hold on and maybe reprice that gap down there liquidity void that is we have new week opening gap everything <clears throat> he is too scared to trade <laughs> scared is not the right uh adjective more like to impatient oh yeah maybe maybe i'm a little bit impatient for the five minute maybe <sighs> pinocchio this man has never taken <laughs> strictly one trader prime yeah uh, i have to tell you yeah but some trades were you know confirmed by the five minute time frame so you know but in London, what can you do? It's it's very hard to find the five minute entry in London session, especially when there is low volume. It's it's not that it's not that easy. Anyway, <laughs> come on, twenty eight. Until we're waiting, I'm just gonna be inserting one more ad. Please watch. All right. So, um, we're waiting. Waiting, waiting. Ba, ba, da, da, ba, da, da. Everybody's oh no, we're we're going back up there. What is going on? What is going on? Just a second. Oh, look at this dank trade. 
going back up there. That is a difficult session, right? So I, if I would have gone long here, I would be out with the stop loss as well. Because I was thinking to go along here and put my stop somewhere below here. But I would be out. So I consider this session as, as, as a difficult London session. And yeah. As long as ES wants to go down, NQ will go down with it. Or we can just consolidate all the way until New York at this level. Slash la soul, hey there. Your cell will hit target on the opening gap. Well, Hopefully, <laughs> I don't want to wait until then. The problem is, is it going to take out my stop before that? <laughs> or it can go higher and sweep all the liquidity from that New York PM session high. But I'm not the fan of this price action, that's for sure. Ranging, if it breaks above 59, yeah, then my stop is definitely over Fred and good morning. Fred and tell me something good. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're long because uh, look at this. It's gonna take me out. It's gonna take me out. <laughs> what can I do? I mean, this account is looking pretty good since yesterday. Above 51k, this my funded futures account is looking really good, but. Um, yesterday was an awesome day, good profits. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, don't worry, I can take everything. Nas, Tom, you should trade M1 crossover. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brocky Epasco, what is that? Nas, thank you for the donation. I <laughs> really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I know you guys are trading... The stochastic momentum index where is that come on it's in my favorites there you go it's in there you see there you go stochastic momentum index for you Nas. <laughs> there was a slight divergence no no not really um I, I don't know how to trade this i mean i know but I don't have an entry model for the stochastic momentum, whatever it's called, index. So, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> the music is coming, Nas. 
crossover simple. But you know, if it crosses over, uh, I, I, I only get the confirmation one candle after. So by the time I see the crossover, Thank you again for the donation there. Um, trading, uh, I mean, that sentence I do love. Tra trading doesn't have to be hard. And many of the pros are saying that trading is actually very simple and has to be simple. You don't have to overcomplicate and stuff like that. But hey, if I take the stochastic to go long, by the time I enter the trade, I would be at 744. And by that time, the stochastic would be almost at overbought and and by the time I go to a short I would be down here of course I know if I would have entered for example for example here now this would be a loss I would have entered the long here and it would gone lower of course I would have put a stop loss here at 42 and re-entered so uh, it's a different ball game to go with the stochastic momentum index, that's for sure. And I think it's best for ranging markets. For trending markets, I don't think, in my opinion, that uh, this this here is that good. I don't know. I don't know. Five haircuts at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Nas, hey, you know, I respect um everybody's opinion and i know you're said it many times that the stochastic momentum index is a good tool i i absolutely uh agree that it could be a good tool i i still if i would like to trade it i still would have to find my my edge with it or my momentum of how to utilize it but in trending markets it can be a tricky one as well Look at the crossover on M2. All right, let's look at the M2. Yeah, so are you saying that you're using, or, or I can use the stochastic crossover in confluence on the M1 and M2 time frame? So I only get an entry when both have crossed, right? So that would give me an entry right here on the two minute so on 320 if I go down to 320 it's here now all I have to figure out where is my stop and where would be my take profit I guess the take profit would be when the candle closes when the lines are in overbought so that would give me like how much from 320 candle actually not that bad that would give me 38 almost 20 points I have to figure it out it brings easy money we will go up uh, Aviash uh, I think there is a very good chance that we will continue to go to that New York PM session high definitely so this trade is in jeopardy pretty much look at this oh man this is pretty much in jeopardy <laughs> we made four one hour fairly guess in Asia Fredent, I know I know you you must be I I I hope you're in a long position. <laughs> I hope you are in a long position, Freden. I hope you are. Uh Still in the kill zone, so uh we still have 1 hour from the kill zone, guys. This can go all day consolidating Divergence, yeah. Um, there is SMT at lows, yeah. 
Yeah, but you mix it with more tools like VWAP, high time frame, EMAs, volume, SMI, oversold, bot, order blocks, supply, demand, important levels. Okay, so the, absolutely not overcomplicating it. I, I see that. <laughs> okay, well, you can actually uh, mix it with some other tools. That's for sure. Still have to wait. <clears throat> Look, if anything, Tom, sarcastic commenting this can show you on M1 NQ when to be careful. That's true. When to be careful. Exactly. Exa and and that's that's also a good thing. At least it shows me what to expect when to be on alert for some sudden movements so yes i agree mix that with viva bias pro rule and your gucci liquidity coming on one minute oh there's gonna be some news right yeah we have the euro current account in 30 seconds I don't think it's going to move the market that much. How do you mark Asia? I read several opinions. Well, exactly. There are so many opinions how you mark uh, Asia lows. I don't really mark it. I just uh, look at, look back and see when the market actually closed after the PM session. And I start to search for significant lows. For example, here at 693 and before the new york uh, kill zone asia high here at 7:36 oh no look at that volume is kicking in it looks like it we do have some volume kicking in so i don't really mark it up i just look for significant lows and highs uh, during in that few hours window i don't really specifically say like from this hour to this hour is the Asia low and high but uh, this one is only micro this one is only micro two micros uh, very small trade waiting to decide waiting for the market to decide which way this will go so yeah yeah George I mean I I don't really complicate that too much. I look back and I just check for some significant lows and highs and I call that Asia low or Asia high. So um, sometimes it's easy to spot, of course, a certain high or low if price has never been there before. <clears throat> Uh, man, I think they pulled the plug again. Hopefully ES will dump. Sideways action, guys. Sideways action. What can we do? Not much. By the way, guys, grab your... My funded futures accounts because this month sale on the starter accounts is the biggest sale I've ever seen, including the activation fees too. So for example, if you buy a few starter accounts, your activation fees are going to be low as well. I mean, if you go with a 50 or 100k account, it's going to be lower than the others. But for example, 150k, you get the... Um, evaluation account for 50 bucks 
and the activation is $150. So for $200, if you pass it in 30 days, you get the funded account, which is absolutely awesome compared to other ones in the industry. And if you fail, you can still have it on and don't cancel it because it's a lifetime. And also if you don't pass it in 30 days, the low activation fee still stands on for the account for a lifetime until you don't pass it. So the best deal right now, one of the best deals, of course, but snapping candle to upside coming in three minutes. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm going to take the loss on this one. And if it goes higher, um, we'll be looking at those New York PM session highs. I'll be looking at that. New York PM session highs. There you go. So I will be looking at that level. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this trade. No, but really, Tom, are you kidding? SMI crossover on NQM1. Uh, actually it worked. That's why I said it's, it works pretty good on ranging markets, which is right now happening. So maybe I should be looking into, uh, trying it or testing it out on ranging markets. Hey, Greg, hola. Last four actually. So maybe I should do some back tests, right? Some back testing would be good. What is happening? Maybe ES wants to go for that I don't know still waiting let's see how's the cons construction going <laughs> they're building the house super fast it's gonna be a super huge building so they're working super loud. <laughs> Good for trading, you know. Uh, not those recent two, but the four right before this new one and the last one. I'm going to check that out uh, after stream. I'm going to do some back testing, you know. Why not? Collecting information. I'm always collecting information. T-S-M-E-R, T-S-M, what is, for, what is T-S-M goes for? I'm sorry, I'm just a little slow. Now it will work again on M1. Uh, yeah, so if we look at the two minute, it crossed and this one crossed too. So according to the stochastic entry model, and the confirmation from the two minute time frame, we should be having an entry somewhere here at the 40s, 42s, right? Should be. Hey, Laura, thank you so much for being here. Have a nice day too. Applause for the lady. Beautiful name. I love the name Laura, by the way. Beautiful name. Uh, market on lower time frame goes from overbought to oversold to overbought. Yeah. Take advantage of that information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why as now that I checked, <laughs> you're welcome, Laura. <laughs> so, um, thank you for being here in the stream. Laura is such a beautiful name. I get confused. If I would have a daughter, I would name her Laura, actually. Okay. Um, 
what is down here we still have the midnight range which is right below the one minute order block and <laughs> there you go and I hope to see you next time too Laura <laughs> all right uh, I don't know what I wanted to say <laughs> anyway let's hold on to this trade for now now um so going back below the order block and maybe targeting the weave up finally I don't know but the new day opening gap is still in play maybe they were only going to send it down at the New York session we don't know we don't know that <clears throat> Maybe I should be doing some kind of a journal about the trades called out on the streams. Um, I don't know. Enjoy trading. Thank you so much, Lara. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> I do love your name. So, so what I want to say. Oh, yeah. So journal the trades exclusively that has been taken on stream let's see i mean not profit wise but if it was successful and the risk to reward so maybe we could track it with how we're doing on the streams could be an idea Tom, the easiest money of the morning is from uh, 6.30 to 8, often as this morning. Oh, yeah. Let it drop another 50 so I can add to my longs. <laughs> Fredent, I thought you are doing something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you're saying from 6.30 to 8 in our time, of course, right? Uh or is it, are you talking uh, is it, uh, Eastern Standard Time or in our time in Europe? It might be better, Tom, if you want, you can call me Lara too. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Come on. Uh, I might going to put an alert to uh, ES. If ES uh, takes or, or uh, goes into that liquidity void, I might going to close the NASDAQ trade manually. <laughs> so... <clears throat> There you go. Nice. At least, at least something good happened. So with this look, I would only be looking to go long on M1 and Q. SME pulls back fully into oversold region. So imagine this if I would have been on break even on this one and if it goes to my final target I would be feeling such a frustration that I would have to shut down the stream and just go out for a walk and that's why I'm not putting my trades to break even 
it, this was a perfect example of why I'm not putting my trades to break even. So thank you, Lord Jesus and the universe for letting me show this because uh, this is the prime example of why I am not putting it to break even. The analysis was correct, all that matters. <laughs> Want to see price action and also would like to see other confluences on my entry candle. Like the way the candle looks is positioned at the amount. Yeah, only Apex offers you the CME future subscription for free or Bilonox too. Uh, Bilonox um, is not because there is, n I mean, sorry, of course, Bilonox too. Everybody offers uh, the CME futures in the price of the evaluation account. The only difference is that Bilonox doesn't have trade await. So you can't log in with your trading view account and it's not updating, of course. There's so if you want trade await, um you have to go with Apex and you can log in trading view and you're going to get the data for your trading view, but you're still going to have a three second delay if you're not a subscriber for trading view. There's a three second delay. So keep that in mind. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Are ticks easier to trade than candles? Uh, I don't know because I mean, sometimes I traded the tick chart in the New York Open, and there, if there is not not enough volume, then I think it's quite as good. So when there is low volume, I think the tick chart is the one we should go with. So sometimes in the um, London session it's good I mean it's the same that's what I would go the short answer is the same to trade with that hey Peter hey Patty <laughs> what's up uh, we just had a nice trade I had a loss before and now I had a winner so uh, I should have had one more winner but I didn't take the short here at least we reached the weave up. Thank you. A nice trade. Well, I, I'm guessing, Freden, that you're loaded with longs, right? That should be going up. I mean, now, I'd like to see it go up to New York PM session. Why not? Exit the trade at weave up, Mitch. Yeah, I sold two, holding two for... 712 moving stop yeah so new day opening gap is down there you can hold a runner look at seven yeah 713 down there it could go if es makes a new push to the downside who knows um 2.2k for the session come on man get out of here Everybody is killing the market and I'm just making baby steps here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. 5.00 Finally, I got filled at 7.28. I do like that level you have though. Yeah, I mean, we have the New Day opening gap down there. We have this one as sell side. Sell side liquidity right down there. What else? Yeah, this is it. If it wants to go. If uh, ES decides to go as well, there is New Day opening gap too. Down there. But look at this. As, as price was up here... And we were talking about this liquidity void on the mini uh, ES. And I don't know what's going to happen here, of course, but in London session, I tend to realize that the liquidity voids, voids on the minis, because there is more volume there, are much more acting as a magnet or level that price like to at least wick into. That's why I put my alert there if I would hear the bell going off I would be closing my uh, I would have closed my NQ trade manually and I don't know how to explain it 
when you back test enough and are detailed like I am obsessed, you learn how to nice deck moves, learn several tricks, respecting patterns, language of candles. By the way, uh, Nez, I'm just saying from my experience, I do have back testing software as well, but just like you said, how the candles are printing and how so, for example, trading view is not showing how the candles are printing. Look at this. Uh, this is trading view, and this is this is trade await. The way that the candles are printing is absolutely different. The small little wicks on the candle, like how it moves. Uh, trading view here is delayed, and also. If I use a backtesting software, I don't see this behavior on the candles. Look at look at the delay. These milliseconds are absolutely make a difference if you are a discretionary trader or if I'm really looking for these uh, these moves. When I backtest, I can't watch this because there is no backtesting software that is going to show this as like real data is printing on the chart not even trading view by the, the data gets the trading view i don't get this small little wicks on the chart but that's why it's different in my opinion on a back test but some of the baby steps make at the end of the day look at all these prop firms they make baby steps yeah every restart Baby steps are good. If you fall down, you don't get hurt too much. Yeah, I know. Quant Tower is the best. Come on, Naz. I mean, I, I, I know you're trolling, and I'm not saying because you're not. You're right, of course. Uh, if you backtest enough and you collect all the info, you definitely get the feel of the market. If you're good with Nasdaq, <laughs> Naz, I feel, I feel the sarcasm. You know, I dig you that. I, I dig you for it and for every advice you give. I always listen to you. And no, i <laughs> being serious. But <clears throat> I'm just saying, I mean... Uh... <laughs> it, uh... Anyway, <laughs> but I hey, you know what? All the information you share here on the stream, I appreciate that. Uh, I really do because... I read everything, I collect all the information, so, so yeah, that's how we do, let that be an ad, if you see an ad, please watch it full time, and maybe you can click on the ad itself, and support the revenue, here it comes, 3, 2, 1, all right, uh, Waiting, 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 guys. Bro, I got to try out Quant Tower before. I've seen the price section on trade weight. It's more on point than trading NQ on trade weight. It, it definitely is. I mean, I can say that at that. Yeah, just as I said, if you watch the candles, how they are printing, you get a better feel of what's happening. I mean, that's not that's going to decide the fate of the whole trading itself, but it's definitely helpful. I don't use anything. I draw trend trend lines. Yeah, Bob. So, um. That's also a good thing. I'm, I'm also just using uh, mainly these fair value gaps. I do have sometimes the moving averages on. I keep the weave up here for the stream because many of you guys like to see the weave up and the two hundred moving average. But yeah, little fish. Hey, how do both of those? Compare to Ninja Trader 5. Really curious about how Quant Tower compare. It's much better. The short answer, if anyone would ask me, is of course I'm not a veteran trader with both of those platforms, but 
I was trading NinjaTrader for a few months and and I'm also using Quant Tower since a few months now. And if anybody would ask me which platform you want to take, immediately I would say Quant Tower. Uh, everything is built in much more simpler. I think uh, I'm not saying Ninja Trader is bad, but Quant Tower is more equipped, maybe with plugin. I don't know. It's not a good word, but the trade copier function for me is crucial with with Quant Tower. I know we have Ninja Trader too, but Replicanto is a little bit expensive and a little bit complicated. Uh, Quant Tower has it built in, and the multiple connection fee is $25 for a month and you can have as many prop firms as you want to copy trade. I do love that. The software is easy to use. You can get used to it. So why not? I like I, Quant Tower. I think it's, it's great. So it means it's only good to use straight away on trading view, perhaps on M2 higher. Yeah, so right now I was trading through trade away because of this account, but and by the way, trade away trader is also not that bad. The problem with this is that uh, uh, I can't copy trade between multiple prop firms, so. I have it open and I see how candles are printing, but I can't copy trade between multiple prop firms. That's my problem. If there would be a function for tr uh, trade await or TS trader as they call it, or I don't know, maybe I would trade with it more. I don't know. I see that's the real key feature that's the game changer yeah the trade copier or multiple logins such as exactly exactly look the the trade copier is the game changer between quant tower and ninja trader ninja trader has replicanto too but it's much more expensive up front and it's much more complicated to set up that's it otherwise ninja trader is good but you know the trade copier for me is a huge difference in Quant Tower. It's super easy, super good. I mean, it's very good to use. I do like it. Game changer. Target hint done for today. Congratulations, Bob. Yeah, nice target there. Taking the sell side at 7.12. Yeah, guys, I think pretty much the London session is done with this. Uh, I'm not looking to uh, enter a trade here. Pilonox has Quant Tower. You have to choose a Rhythmic as your connection or a provider or whatever it's called. Uh, you have to go with Rhythmic and you download Quant Tower and you just log in uh, with the Rhythmic uh, credentials through Quant Tower. It's not that complicated, it's simple. Everything is in the email. Short, 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 short. <laughs> Yeah, my opinion is every platform have its there you go, yeah, benefits. For example, Atas have the best footprint chart, yeah. But other chart settings are better than Quant Tower and the indicator is nothing compared uh yeah, nothing compete. Uh trading view is very good for uh indicators and charting. I absolutely I absolutely give it that. I saw a tutorial by through life about how to set up replicanto for multiple prop firms and it looked a bit it, it is complicated it is and you have to pay extra for replicanto for multiple prop firms and it has sometimes issues it's more complicated quant tower it's super easy it's like cutting through butter it's super 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 easy with quant tower do you also have high latency during uh, New York Open? Yes, you have. Yes. It's not Quant Tower the issue. The issue is with Rhythmic, which is providing the data. So that's the problem. No matter which one you use, you can use NinjaTrader, Quant Tower, whatever. Everything that connects through Rhythmic has latency issues at New York Open. But unfortunately, there is no other way for now to trade. 
so we have to go with rhythmic connection if if i want to copy trade between multiple prop accounts but what i do if is the market if the market is opening um i try not to jump in <laughs> to a trade so try not to jump into wait at least five to ten minutes and latency issues should be okay i mean recently they said they are fixed it but i did see some latency uh messages in quant tower after the market opens so be careful be careful at the open i may have to download that then and use it for doing yeah uh strongly advising you and it's not financial advice just to use the software um, i advise you to use quant tower for copy trading between multiple prop firms that's the best so far at this moment at this day i think that's the best maybe there will be a better solution later but for now that's the that's the go go to All right, guys, I think uh, that's it for me. I'm not going to wait until the end of the kill zone because I'm not taking more trades on the account. We had a good session. I had the loss, then I had the win. The winner was bigger than the loss, so we're happy. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly, Ludafish. Exactly. Thank you, Mitch, and thank you everyone for being here. And Nescalp God, thank you for the tip. And uh, I forget the name. Uh, Tiddy Pro, thank you so much for the tip again, and for the support. S subscribe to the channel. I'll be here in New York session too. And if you would like to support the channel, please use my links and codes to purchase some accounts. Helps me to keep here, keep me here full time on YouTube. So thank you again. You guys are awesome and see you guys in the New York session. Cheers, everyone. And relax, I've been using one tower. There you go. Never failed. And relax. Thanks for joining. And everyone else, thanks for joining. Love you all, guys.